Hi, in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to use the wiggle expression and once you learn how to use it I'm going to show you how to animate this background that we made in the previous tutorial. So let's start. First I'm going to create a new composition and then I'm just going to draw a rectangle. And then I'm just going to click on the transform properties and I'm going to alt click on the position stopwatch. So before I type in the expression, I just want um, to say what it is. So the wiggle expression most simply said um, randomly changes the value that it's applied to. So let's type in wiggle um, 5 25. And now let's just do a RAM preview to see what happens. So as you can see, um, my um, rectangle is randomly moving on the screen. So what's happening? Um, the first number right here um, is the frequency. So when it's set to 5, that means that there are 5 wiggles per second. If I set it to 10, that means that there's 10 wiggles per second and that's really easy to understand. And this second number is the amplitude. So basically when it's set to 25, the maximum amount of pixel movement for this rectangle is 25. If I set it to 50, then it will move more and if I set it to 5, then it will move less. So let's set this um, back to 25 and let's um, add some keyframes. So I want this rectangle to move from here um, to here and let's just add one more keyframe to make this look a bit more interesting. So let's do a RAM preview to see what happens when we add keyframes. So as you can see, this expression works with keyframes too, and this rectangle is wiggling while it's moving on the path. So that's about it. Um, now we can move on um, to animating this background. So a lot of people only use the wiggle expression on the scale or the position property and they forget that they can use it on one dimensional, two dimensional and three dimensional values. So let's um, click on this red solid and then let's click on effects and let's um, open up block dissolve and we're going to add an expression to the transition completion. So let's all click on this stopwatch and let's type in wiggle um, 220 and let's see um, what happens. So as you can see um, the background um, is changing um, because the completion of um, the block dissolve um, is being wiggled by this expression and this seems like it's a bit too much so let's just set it to 1 and 15 and now let's add um, some keyframes to the completion and let's um, move 20 frames forward so let's create a second one and then I'm just going to change the value of the first keyframe to 0 and then I'm going to um, click on the um, transition completion of the Venetian blinds. Um, I'm going to create a keyframe and I'm going to move 20 frames forwards. And I'm going to create a second one. Then I'm going to move um, to my first keyframe and I'm going to change it to zero. And now let's take a look at what we made. So as you can see, we animated this background with only four keyframes and an expression, and we made it look really nice. So that's it for the today's tutorial. If you would like to request a tutorial, then there's a link in the description. 
please check out my channel for more tutorials and if you like it then please subscribe thank you for watching and see you next time